Hi guys, Mom and Son Train Rail fans coming to you. It's Saturday afternoon. We're finally out in the building. We had a pretty good storm, so we waited. Wanted to give you a little bit of an update. Um, today, I'm going to be doing the flats against this back section. Um, we had some more modulars done. They're corkboard and they have track laid down and wired. Um, we've got this section and we got this section corked. I have this section over here that has just a little bit I have to do today. Um, down there in that corner against the fridge, I'm going to do a mountain using the spray foam. I'm going to get that done today. Um, we are say hey Ray. Hey. Um, we have just a little section, probably a seven foot section left with the dog bone. And Mr. Ray is doing that at his house um, because he has the tools he can do it. And then it will be complete and we'll finish laying the track and doing the wiring and get the two main lines done all the way around the building. And then we'll work on the two four by eight sections. But my goal today is to get this whole section here with the flats done and to do the mountain over in that corner and finish the cork bedding over on that section. So we'll give you an update later. Hope everyone has a great day. Oh, FYI, we do have a mail call and we'll do that later. Thanks. Hey guys, mom and son train rail fans coming to you again. I want to give you a little bit of a update on how I create our mountains using the great stuff. Um, I usually lay it out like I've done right here. And then I always put my filler, the real rugged, hard grass, uh, mountainy looking filler on it while it is still wet um, to where the great stuff has not hardened. That way I'm not using a ton of glue um, putting it on there. And I just kind of mush it in there so it gets a hold of it and then what I do is when I don't have um, a lot of the edges I kind of leave plain because what I do next is I take our spray paint I use two colors I use um, a, just a typical green and as you can see, I formed it on the back of cardboard and I do that so we can move it. If for some reason we have to take the table out for some reason, a fixed track, I can take this off and it's not on something permanent. So after it completely expands and dries, then I'll cut off the cardboard backing um, and it will set without um, being attached to anything. So now that I got most of the greenage on the foam, and, and you can still see, I mean, I just did it. So it's gonna be spongy. But then I take this color green and I kind of put it on like this, right over the spots where you would see white because if you look in the mountains, it's all different kinds of greens. So I take it and I just spray it where I didn't have any of the dark foliage. And it fills in some of the white gaps. And it might look strange right now, but this is just how I've done it. That's how I did my Christmas mountain, um, which you can go back on some of the other videos and watch. But I take this green and I spray it on the parts to kind of fill in with the white. And it gives it kind of a different shade. And it's really not a whole lot being used. 
that's kind of the way that I do my mountain. Okay, and now to me, that's just really green. So I now will take more of a camouflage green and go over it with a, I just use this camouflage green. And it kind of just, it gives it more of the rustic mountain. Where it's like not so, so green. I don't do it heavy because I still want some of the other green showing. But as you can see, it just didn't make it like pops out like that forest green did. And I'll just spray it over it and then I let it dry. And that's how I do my mountains. So that's going to be the mountainside um, over here. And that's just my little way of doing it. So I want to show it to you guys. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, wanted to give you an update. I have finished the murals on the back of the layout and this is what it looks like. Ray's really happy with it. And that's that back section. Because he'll have two double main lines coming through here. We are going to put in some switches. I stopped right here because, like I said, we have another seven foot section and a dog bone coming out here. So I'm going to wait till that gets put up before I finish the mural section. I think I might have to spray paint to that last outlet. Um, so I'm not sure. So I still have that to do, but I just want to show you what we finished up today. Hey guys, wanted to give you an update on the mountain that I did earlier today. Um, wanted to see, um, actually to show you what I was talking about, how I'm making it mobile to where if we have to move it, we can move it. Um, I cut it out. It's dry. It's hard. Everything's stuck to it. If for some reason we had to move it away from the track, all we have to do is just slide it out. Everything's on it. It comes out in one piece. You move it. It's not there anymore. And now we can just slide it back in to where it's going to be. Um, I will probably add a couple trees in there, um, but I'm not going to do that today. My next project is laying down some cork bed to finish down near the curve. And I'm using these mini tripods that Nicholas over, um, over there in Fostoria sent me. I use these things all the time. They're amazing. I love them. Um, but the next thing that I'm going to be working on is down there. I have to do some bedding to finish that. And then I'll be done for the day. So we'll see you back in a little bit. Okay, guys. Mom and Son Train Rail fans. This is the last video of the day. I'm done. I finished this strip down there of the cork board. Ray's telling me to go back inside. He's done with me being in his building. He wants to run his trains. So I'm signing off. I did everything that I wanted to do today. Now Ray's going to have some quiet time out here by himself running his trains. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Say bye, Ray. Bye.